Hi there, I'm Jonathan and I'm gonna show you my gear. Let's do it. Um, so here's all my stuff. Um, I've never had much of a budget, so I've been, a, I've kind of had to work with what I had, you know? So I guess I'll start with the guitars over here. Um, this guitar I got about, I think, one and a half years ago. It's a Siegel S6 acoustic guitar. Uh, it plays beautifully. I actually got the strings changed recently because I had the other strings on for like a year and one of them broke when I was trying to record. So that's always great. Uh, beautiful body. Uh, it actually sounds better the more you play it and more time goes on because of the wood that it has. I'm not completely sure what it is. I think it's cedar, but don't quote me on that. Um, I used to have a Glenn Burton like crappy acoustic guitar was like 70 bucks and that's what I used for the majority of my records. I actually recorded everything from uh, Life on Notice to to um, to Lost Within Your Dreams. So there's that. And this is my electric. I got this when I was about I think 16, 17 years old. Uh, it's a Epiphone Les Paul Limited Edition Studio Deluxe, wine red, um, rosewood fretboard, uh, mahogany body. Uh, I got the pickups changed, the stock pickups changed with Burst Bucker Pros, so that was, those are the kind of pickups that you usually hear in a Gibson. So I saved myself a lot of money by getting those switched down. It, it sounds great, even though I've played it for like over seven years. And all of my effects come from this. This is the Boss ME70. On my uh, last record, Send Old Tra Tragedy of the Journeymen, basically how I got that sound was, I've got two delays going on here, both on the uh, modulate setting. And I basically have it set where one delay sounds like it's reacting to another. And so when I have everything turned on here, it, it sounds really uh, drawn out. And that's where I get that whole shoegaze, post-rocky, atmospheric sort of sound. So I've got both of these turned on for the most part. Uh, for distortion, I have it on the metal setting. It doesn't really sound that great. The distortions don't really sound that great on this unit, but it sounds a lot better when you have the reverb. I have the reverb cranked all the way up. And I've got a little bit of compression here. I've got it on the sustain setting, and that'll just let it, again, it gives it that more drawn out sort of thing and yeah that's the bulk of the sound from that record um, work with what you have you know uh, accentuate the positives hide the negatives and this is my amp <laughs> it is a Fender Mustang 1 I believe it's series 1 I have it set on the, the twin reverb setting here let me just close up here yeah so I have it set on the twi twin reverb setting it's got a good clean sound. May not be the best in terms of what a twin reverb actually sounds like because this is a modeling practice amp, but um, it works and it sounds really good. And for the microphone, so for the majority of my work, I have used a Blue Yeti Stereo USB mic. Um, it's worked great for me, to be honest. I usually have it on the stereo setting or the, uh, the cardioid setting. It has a really nice, crisp, clean sort of sound. I recently upgraded to an Aston Origin, so I'm going to be getting rid of this soon. And for all the synthesized parts of, I think, the last two records, I've been using this M-Audio Oxygen 49 MIDI keyboard. Nothing really um, else to say about it. Does its job, does its job well. Um, so for software, I've got a couple things. Uh, the main two DAWs that I use are Audacity and Reaper. I use Audacity for all the acoustic and electric guitar stuff. I just record direct from my um, Fender and Mustang 1. And for Reaper, I use all of my synthesized sounds and, and drums for that. So the main ones I used are Addictive Drums 2 on the metal setting, uh, Contact for all the, mostly the string and piano stuff. So as you can see, I got a lot of different presets here 
and I will use absinthe once in a while. I use it mostly for organ sounds, but it comes out sounding really, really cool. I use that all over Minas Amans. And, um, yeah, that's basically it. <laughs>